I have used nearly every single research AI tool under the sun at the moment, but there's one in particular that's been really impressive that I've really enjoyed using, and it's Yomu AI. Academic writing can be really tough. When you're thinking about new ideations, you're thinking about trying to condense something down for a thesis, for a paper, for a grant, and also trying to convey your argument in a cohesive manner can be very tricky. And we have this in any manner of academic writing, from your first year of your PhD, all the way to actually being a professor. Academic writing is not easy. So I've thankfully partnered with Yomu AI in this video to talk to you about the amazing features they have that I've really benefited because I'm writing a grant at the moment. So I'm hoping these features will help you in any manner of academic writing that you are undertaking at the moment. So how does Yomu AI actually tackle this academic writing problem? It is designed to be your tailored AI tool to supplement your writing workflow. Actually designed for students and researchers in mind, it is packed with those exact features that you will need to bypass writing blocks and accelerate your workflow. So as you can see here, I actually use it to try and brainstorm some new papers for 2024. And I'm actually writing a grant and using Yomu AI to try and accelerate that academic writing workflow, which you're gonna see momentarily. Now, before I go into all of the features, which I've been really impressed with, there's one thing that's been a standout thing compared to any of the kind of the AI research tools I've used. And it's the Yomu AI's interface, it's UI. It is so attractive, it's so aesthetically pleasing. It's a joy to watch and be around and navigate through. Some can be quite clunky, some can be too complicated, some can have things that are all over the place. But genuinely, after using Yomu AI for quite a while, I have enjoyed looking at it on the screen, whether it's on the iPad, whether it's on my laptop. So that is something to bear in mind whilst you're watching this video that you'll see in, in the screen recordings when I go through some of the features. It's actually quite a nice thing to look at, which is something that is underrated when we look at a tool that we want to supplement to our writing workflow. So let's talk about those features now. So you can see on the screen, even from the first instance, you are hit with the useful additions to make the whole writing workflow a lot quicker. You can create a document, as you can see on the screen right now, and you can describe what it's for. Then just click an outline button, and it will auto-generate that outline framework for you. And you can see this is just getting started. We haven't gone into the actual big features that Yomi AI has. So you can see the meticulous attention to detail at every aspect of a writing workflow trying to use AI, trying to use an enhanced writing workflow to make life easier for you. So I've been really impressed with the attention to detail right at the start. Now let's talk about document assistant. So this genuinely blew my mind because I gave it a prompt, as you can see on the screen, of biomarker review oxidative stress in severe asthmatics, something that I'm trying to think about at the moment for a paper. Clicked on document AI and told it to write an introduction. Within seconds, it wrote something pretty epic, and after some minor tweaks, it was already a working introduction that I could actually use. And you can see on the screen, it didn't take that long. It gave it a prompt, told it what to do, and it generated something that I could actually work with quite easily. Now, the funny thing is, I normally, when I'm thinking of something, I'm trying to make coffee, big coffee concert, I'm just like, I can't actually do that because your AI is actually too quick. It's a good thing, it's not a bad thing, but normally, you know, you're sitting there drinking coffee, you think, of, okay, how can I word it like this? I could probably go over it like this, but I just gave it a prompt, told it what to do, and then within seconds, I was already on the go. So I might have to rejig the whole coffee workflow vibe for writing, but let's move on. Now, before I talk about this particular feature, which is personal essay pilot, this is something for me personally that I've actually struggled with, and it's articulating and finishing a sentence. Sounds quite obvious, but when you're trying to convey a really important message, Sometimes it's hard to finish that sentence because it might be too convoluted, the sentence might be too truncated, you're not trying to hit home the message too much and it can be quite hard to actually talk about what you're trying to say. This is where Yomu AI helps with helping you to finish those sentences. Let's talk about how it works. So you can see on the screen I've written something and I've got this writer's block. Normally kind of check our phone, go through social media because we've hit a rap block and we get distracted. But here you can click a button and Yomu AI actually kicks in helps you to generate different aspects of how you can finish that sentence and you can cycle through some of those suggestions, choose which one you think is the most appropriate and that hopefully will help to get you out of that writer's block so you can help get back into that writing flow to start writing more. So those little things as well which is really important. You know this if you're writing anything that hmm, I'm writing, writing, writing and then my mind goes blank or you can't you know, get any further and then what do we do? We get distracted, we go do something else. So this can actually help you navigate that so you can carry on writing and only spend maybe 30 seconds bridging that writing flow, bridging that writing block so then you can carry on writing more. Writing more, you can get more done 
everything is kind of self-explanatory. So this is something that I personally found really useful when I was in the ideation phase and I was trying to think of something, I can't convey it or couldn't, I was thinking of a sentence, couldn't finish it. Personal essay pilot. Now, with any sort of writing, there are going to be figures and tables. And Yomi AI actually helps to do this and helps to integrate those tables and figures right into your workflow. I'm going to talk to you about that now. You can see on the screen right now, just pressing one simple shortcut, tables in the figures are in the job done. And you can use all number of this for any manners, whether it's a thesis, whether it's a paper, whether you're writing a grant and you want to convey some of your initial findings. We know how important tables and figures can be in any writing document. So a simple shortcut as you saw earlier. And you can crack on. Very easy to use. And this is what I mentioned right at the start of the video where it is attractive, it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. You you feel like, hmm, this is a nice place to be. And that's something I know they've probably done on purpose. And I've enjoyed using it because as we know, anything tool we use, if it doesn't look great, we're less likely to use it. You know, aesthetics, design, UI are really important in the tool as well. Not just the features that are there. Let's move on. Right, with any writing document, citations are really, really important. So having something that makes it easy to add in is going to be a win-win in terms of a writing workflow. Now remember, Yomu AI is designed, I had a chat with the founder before agreeing to come on board to make this video. And what he mentioned was really important that it is designed to be a supplement to your writing workflow. It's not there to replace what you have. So it's be there in the background that you can use, jump in and get some ideas, use AI to try to get things done quicker or try and ideate other things. And this is another example of if you want to just quick add in citations, you can do. So let me just give you an idea of how that looks in practice. So you can see me typing away here and then easily I just da -da -da, add a citation and you're ready to go. That's something that not many other AI tools can do with ease. And sometimes you might have it within your, you know, if you've got a latex editor or you Microsoft Word. And yeah, there are great, you know, reference systems within that. But sometimes you just want to slot in something quite quick in an AI writing tool like your AI. And this citation is something that has been really, really helpful because again, these shortcuts make a difference. With anything, you want to reduce the barrier to entry and reduce your friction in order to do something. So pressing one button is done. Pressing another button is done. Makes life easier so then you can focus on actually writing and utilize the interface that your AI has to try to get the juicy bits done and just use the shortcuts to make life easier. In this case, citations. But it's not just citations, there's also editing. You can see on the screen right now, take out a bit of the text that I've written on the screen. You can edit, you can summarize, you can brainstorm, you can change the arguments. You can actually use AI to try and generate an opposing argument to the piece of text that you've written, which is bonkers to think of, that AI has the capabilities to read what you've written and try and convey an opposing argument and also other similar arguments to help that writing workflow. That I was genuinely really impressed with because I didn't think AI has reached to that point where it could generate something like that. That would be pretty decent for you to use as a starting point to mold, craft, refine and use. And this is what I mentioned about having a writing tool to supplement your workflow. All these little tools that I mentioned so far make things a little bit easier, make different aspects of a writing workflow a lot easier. So then you can focus on what, you're, what you need your brain for, which is conveying the things that you need to convey for paper, for thesis, for grant, any form of writing this will help. So those are some of the features Yomu AI has already installed as part of their subscriptions, but there are some upcoming features that they've told me about that I want to share with you. One in particular, which we all need, is a plagiarism checker. And what Yomu AI is doing is trying to add this seamlessly like they've done with all the other features, integrate it into that workflow, then it can automatically check things that need to be checked as part of their ethics statement, which is the link in the video description down below, they have on their website that you can check to look at the ethics and integrity of Yomu AI and why they are taking plagiarism very, very seriously and are working very hard behind the scenes to get that as part of the whole Yomu AI package. So all in all, I've genuinely really enjoyed using Yomu AI and I've actually been using it to write a grant at the moment and these kind of paper ideas that I've been showing you throughout this video. So it's not something that I've just used I thought, yeah, it's cool. I'm actively using it because I've actually found benefit from. But something, again, I want to reiterate that I mentioned earlier in the video from the founder, Elman, which he states, Yomu AI is designed to supplement your writing workflow, not replace it. And I 100% agree that if Yomu AI is that, which I think it is, it's doing a really, really good job to do that. And I can't wait to see the new features they're going to add to add to this already really simple, 
minimalistic design, really attractive, aesthetically pleasing AI tool that you can have in the background whilst you are writing something. So it's safe to say that Yomu AI will be in my writing arsenal for the foreseeable future. And if you are interested in getting it yourself, I've got some really cool codes for you to use. So if you're looking at getting 10% off your monthly subscription, just use Amir10 at checkout. But if you're interested to get 40% off the yearly subscription, you can use Amir Yearly 40, you can see on the screen right now. Use that at checkout to get 40% off your actual yearly subscription so you can just focus on making use of AI from Yomu AI all day, every day, 24-7, twice on Sunday. You know what I mean. So if you've got any questions about Yomu AI and writing, let me know in the comment section down below. You can find me also on Instagram, ahmed.phd, where I'll probably a bit more accessible. And I hope you stay tuned with further updates from Yomu AI and hopefully I can share my progress with that. You'll find that on Instagram about me using Yomu AI to write these grants, submit these grants, write these papers, and then hopefully I can stay tuned with further updates and I can report it for you on Instagram, and hopefully in YouTube in the foreseeable future. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, follow me over there and head over to Yomu AI now to get your subscriptions before it's too late. You never know. No, I'm joking. It'll still be there. But head over there and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.